welcome everyone to another let's play with the developers episode and we're today live on forgecraft again just let me work my way out here so there is the small entrance here the side entrance over there and the tunnel on the other end that those are the only two entrances at the moment you probably do want some entrances in the other directions later on as well but for now I think that's fine. Um, I got some things set up in between as well. Besides all of these things. We placed down a smelter here to be built soon. Probably good to already click on build here. Ah, oh, we have to research that first. Uh, that we should probably do next then. I did make a windmill. And potentially got the resources for another one. And as you can see, we got all the box madness gun here. And I moved this to the refined storage system here. So storage access is going to be easier for us. Um, I still don't know if I did the windmill ride. Because for some reason it seems like it's not sending energy. I think I had a hammer. Maybe the hammer is telling me if the hammer. Oh. Let's dump some of these things here quickly. Uh, let's check with the hammer. Uh, what was it? Shift. Doesn't tell us anything if this is actually working. I did hear that Wild was streaming Mine Colonies, but when I got online, he, online, he already was playing golf instead of Mine Colonies. Um, okay, that should be energy output. So theoretically, there should be energy coming through. Hi, Tinty Tots. However, it doesn't seem it, it's actually... Um, charging our uh, storage system because I still need the generator here to keep it going maybe it's oops maybe it's just too consuming too much as well also a decent possibility and we got some things running let me just dump those two here I don't know, my potatoes. Yes. Um, yes. That we can dump. Um, we got a lot of things set up and finished building in between. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of confused about it too. I'm, I'm not sure how good the windmill is, but it should be more than enough for this RF system that is like currently consuming 16 FET. So that should be way enough. I'm still, I, I still don't know what I did maybe wrong. Maybe this doesn't work like this maybe it doesn't it pull inter energy into it yeah that's that's the question i have i don't know if it can um can the rs system get energy from an LV relay maybe some of those people know because I'm not really great in tech mods but I did want to check on the smeltery to research quickly so we can get that started because we definitely do need it. we got here the warehouse upgraded to level 3 uh, we got two lumberjacks both on level 3 as well relays are only for wiring I would need a connector then. Okay. 
And let me go to the universe, then we can check for a connector, probably. And get that finished up nicely then. We don't have any researcher at the moment. So the composter research is stuck. But we can get the lava buckets. And then we check if we can't find a citizen we can hire. And get some food at the cook quickly. Okay. Building 3 is finished. So... Let's see. Some baked potatoes. She got a lo lot of raw potatoes and more potatoes coming here, so that's great. We probably do want to upgrade this, finally, to get that on the second level and get my some more furnaces going. So let's get another of these connectors. We should theoretically have all the resources for that. Yeah, there's a space missing here. Um, it was... Connector... No. LV... Was it, was it the capacitator I needed? Another capacitator to connect it. LV wire connector, is it this here then? Copper ingot. We're out of copper. I guess so. Although I guess a capacitator would also work. I guess a capacitator should work. So we put the capacitator like this. Um, and I need wire connector. So probably at the top wait because here at the top I don't I only have a capacitator too so the relay also doesn't connect then do I understand this right so I would need two oh, it gives me four okay that's good enough okay so I'm going to get two connectors. Choo, choo, choo. I'm going to melt. No, not this. Here, the copper. I'm going to dump the other things here in the system. And maybe we fix our Borg system. Okay, that is at least already better. Although I don't know why the cable state. Hi Greg, how are you doing? Um, do I have more copper cables? Like those wire coils? Not apparently. Choo -choo -choo. Where did the hammer go? Hammer. Here. So, we probably want to make it then that the wire runs a little bit more around here so we want this here facing side energy input and opposite energy output okay we only need now the copper to be finished okay <sighs> we got the ores. So, you see Ray using tech mods? Always interesting experience. So we put it here. Then we put an other relay here. And we can put linking this. Okay. 
Do we need another wire? Um, copper wire. What was the name? Yes, the, one of these wire coils. Okay, I think that is correct. Much better. There we go, up there. <laughs> Hi, Ferro Wolf. Yeah, I needed, I, I needed a nice setup for the inventories. And I thought, let's experiment out a few of the other mods as well. So we do want the wire connector, as you guys said. And then set this up like this right so yeah it's forge energy it's not electricity <laughs> so we got here storage system set up and now we can remove this here we can see if actually unfortunately we can't say how much energy that one gives us um, I'm going to, I wanted to get some buckets. I need an other one. Dump now these things. So we can get the lava buckets. There's a meter. No, pneumatic craft. Just need a compass and copper ingot so one more copper and then we make this meter and that might tell us a bit more about this yes let's do that um, the dumb. melting it again here I should move definitely this over as well meanwhile isn't there any visitor around we can hire for our university apparently not at the moment so let's get the lava already get the research at least locked in um, the lava is really close by so that's pretty easy and then we can look over these things I also set up two more guard towers um, and a three more guard towers to be completely exact okay we got the all the lava we need Doo -doo -doo. I guess barbarians were here should oops I that is a little bit of a pain everything I click with this darn hammer starts rotating and I think that could cause me a lot of issues I think that's the rotation it's supposed to have let's hope that is not going to give us a lot of pain when upgrading or something like this it did make the block still responsible yes a furnace heater what is a furnace a heater is this like a electricity furnace that runs better than one of these Choo -choo -choo. Our ore should be ready now. And then we get the meter. Like I said, I'm I'm really zero knowledgeable. Ah, okay. So that one has zero energy stored. And that is reducing in energy still. That is staying, but this here is still reducing in energy. And since this is still reducing, it doesn't give me only the energy stored, not the energy transmitted, it seems. Let's check at the windmill. Um, the dumb. So. Kinetic Dynamo
no energy stored no flux what what would be rotated correctly oh still no flux though but this seems correctly now right I think that is not the correct side but I'm still at zero stored and zero flux apparently still that seems the this seems the part that should be facing here And the battery energy input of the oppose opposite side. That should be correct. Hmm. So this is correct now. Ah, the, the dynamo doesn't have an output like that. Is there a way to redef redefine the output yeah let's let's try this getting all those blocks That should be fine. That should be exactly how it's supposed to be. Hmm. Okay. It is now receiving energy. Okay. Progress. So now we can put this on the bottom and this is still energy stored and then it still has energy stored right yes and this here is okay the, fa the face the side is correct <laughs> Now we check on the other side if we now get the influx. Hi me <laughs> Oh hi Mizen by the way. Um let's see if we now getting any influx here. So this one here is stable now. Is it? 66703. I think this means we succeed we succeeded. And it is stable now. But this one here is not filling. Ah, it is. It is filling up, people. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> yes. We made it. The windmill was wrongly rotated, that means. Okay, let's go through the bat quickly to get a new day. Every time I log off and log back in, I lost the citizen. I'm kind of always worried at the moment to do anything. Okay. Let's do... Oh. Yeah, I, I do only like... I do like the storage system. I really won't touch all the automatic crafting stuff because we got our citizens for it but I might touch some of the furnace stuff maybe to get some or and tools and these kinds of things because this could open our world for the mining tools of uh, dire wolf that could speed up things for us decently let's say it like this 
Um, dump some of our stuff. And this one here is still loading up. So we do not need that this generator anymore, which is great. Because that one is burning on, on fuel. Besides being bad for the environment. <laughs> just kidding. Besides being costing our all our coal. Um it, it has another another bunch of disadvantages, right? So we do want probably this here and other height up. Kitty, kiddo, can you move a bit? Thank you. So on this one here we know is the two by two distance. And I, oops, and I hope it's going to work out with the corners. It doesn't. But at least we can like probably do something like no, with this here we have to and we just do just to make it symmetric and then we can start with two by two again. Because that's a solution we can always take. So or didn't we? I think I did want to fill in this area here to make it equal to the other area size. I probably did want to do that. Dun, dun, dun. So let's do this here quickly. Getting those Britannia blends while we're on it. Oh, I heard that they have some weapons as well. Although that I'm I'm not a big fan of. I'm perfectly fine with my bow. Choo -choo -choo. And then we need this side here also to be filled. Oops. I do have shovels with me. Can store the hammer over there. Should definitely always avoid clicking anything with those hammers. Oops, that was the wrong letter. So, okay. I'm kind of I'm kind of disappointed of Botania because they got creative flight items, and I'm a huge, hugely against creative flight. Everything that flies more than Elytra is too much flying for my taste. There are things that are OP, but there are things that I like completely destroying the immersion in my opinion yes there is an api uh, for mine colonies the realm 18 it depends on what you want to do as well there are a lot of things that are possible with the apis there are other things that probably need a little bit of work hi set horizon how are you doing choo, choo, choo. we do want to fill in more of this area we got a lot of dirt in the last days because we also still have to do the fortified wall at a bunch of places still so soup to dupe um, we probably should just start with this then Ah yes, there should there are a lot of things there's there are a lot of things in the APIs already. Um however anything that is not in the API we always support people to make pull requests. 
if necessary then. Um, ah wait, that was one too high. This here should be... This is fine from the depth, yes. This should be spruce wood. And then... That's then the distance metric here. Great. <laughs> and depending on the integration you want to make, you can always also make a pull request to mine colonies to add possible integrations. We also do highly support that. Let me get some cobble first so we can get more torches. We're going to need a lot of them alongside of this. And dump a bunch of those botania flowers we obtained. Do, do, do. Now all of this here we also want to make this a 3x3 three three path here. Kind of 3x3 three three, but nicer looking definitely. <sighs> At least like this. There we go. Wait, we probably should start a little bit calmer um, and take this here one over. I got some lag issues again, I feel. Um, get some, get this here placed. Oh, yo, yo. That is some weird lag at the moment. Mm, and I wanted some stairs. Because then I can just stare up on this. And do it something like this. Potentially. Also in this direction at the same time. There we go. I think that's pretty nice. It's got to place back the torch. You can probably take this torch again. Place them just up here. Great. That's probably much better. And then we have to enter again. Wait. Ah, no, that's fine. Do, do, do. So this is much better already. But we do want this to integrate better in the mountain. So that the... That's kind of... Seemingly entering like we've done on all the corners. Chuk -chuk. Yeah, that's much better. But these things are going to make it then much more difficult for any mob to enter in our higher regions. Such that they, when they enter here, they won't be able to just straight up climb. We have to put this a little bit down here as well. So that they can't just climb up and go to attack the guards that are sniping them from the walls. But they can just the guards can snipe from here and they will have to go all the way to the stairs to come up. But our archers here on the top are going to be safe. Do you wonder how we're going to get there? There's a little path here. There's some, like, there's a bunch of paths. There's, like, very... The path goes around there. 
and go all around this. We have a very neat setup already. I do have more torches now. Potentially place one of them here at the guard tower. Great. We can also place torches like this. Great. Um, now let's get the co the coal before I forget about it. And we have a visitor. Let's see what he needs to be hired. Oh. She. Ah. Uh, I can help you with that. And do I have what place? Can yes. I do for you? Thirty-four. That's a lot of uh, wheat. Let's see how much wheat we have. And if that would be enough. I don't think that's enough for 34. Just already had. Maybe exactly enough, but that would cost us all our wheat then. So I do prefer to wait uh, until we have then one that wants um, redstone because we have a lot of redstone and the redstone ones are usually better than the ones you get from wheat so it's better for two reasons already to get them maybe I, I would accept one that wants potatoes because our our cook is stocking up on them so let's see what they are working on Okay, so what are you working on? Nothing at the moment. Let's see what the other one is working on. On the cook probably, yes. So spruce logs, spruce planks, stone bricks, cobblestone, cobblestone stairs. Uh, we have a lot more, no not a lot more cobblestone to, with us to be honest. I can make a bunch more cobblestone stairs. And a bunch more cobblestone. She's going to need slabs as well. So we get more cobblestone. Um, barrel, furnace, gravel, a bunch of other things. But it's also quickly start the other task. Because we got... Wait. Now I need a better way to get up there. Let's for now make a cheaty way. Because that is another one of our towers. But the access is over the town hall over there. And we definitely do want this here upgraded. So. And then we can go and check if our lumberjacks have some spruce for us as well. Because we are almost out of spruce. Yes, and no. Your inventory? How's work going? A bit at least. Let's get some more of that cobble. And yes, our colony is coming along quite nicely. And I think we can start hiring a lot of archers soon. And get them then in very favorable positions. And put a, a knight only around them to protect them against... Uh, close combat attacks then. Um, cobblestone. Here we have a bit. Take up a little bit. Bring it to the worker and see. Still the same visitor. This one here needs some cobblestone. Spruce buttons. We can provide them quickly too. And letters. I Whoa, believe you this should looks get fantastic. What's next? Leather she should get from the warehouse. Let's check the other one out too. What can I do for you? Okay. So gravel, campfire, barrel and plain spruce. Uh, gravel and two campfires. 
Choo -choo -choo. Gravel. Apparently there's also not enough gravel in the warehouse either. Let's dump some of that dirt back here. Oops. Um, barrels. Oh nice, we have some barrels. And campfire. I don't think we have any campfire. Oh no, we want normal campfire. Two campfires. Um, and the... Let's make ten. Oops, was well, maybe a bit too much. Um, cobble and screws and the build tool. I just dumped the build tool inside, right? I did. Other way around. I'm getting like 40 of those. Okay, let's go back and deliver the resources. I do want to get a sawmill relatively soon as well. I believe we have unlocked that already. Gravel, plane. I need to just put the remaining ones in here. What can I do for you? Furnace as well, okay. I, th I thought so. I'm going to make five of them because that is then going to be I in the future the just delivered over to. Holy dumb. And maybe, yeah, we're going to see then what she needs next. But that should keep her busy for some time, for the time being. So you can finish the wall on the other side. Meanwhile. And she gets our cook finally on level 2. We also got some more, an, another citizen hut. Citizen hut, you can see there behind, in the corner behind those two. And the next, I guess I want the next two citizen huts to be aligned here as well, one after the other. So this here is pretty fine. We can probably all all of this one here is fine. We don't need a wall because it is aligned here, so it's going to be difficult for them. Um, but this here, we do want this here a little bit looking a little bit more fortified at least. And then we can at least like this. And we can use dirt to fill in the area. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Uh, I'm fine with this for. Yes, that should be fine. At least for now. And then we want to go down here and fix them the integration in the mountain again. Now we are rather picky with this. But it is going to look amazing then later on. So that makes it definitely worthwhile to take care with of those little details. Oops, that one is definitely not part of the details. I did not check the other resource pack out, because at the moment it doesn't have a 116 download. So I wanted to avoid it, maybe. Shook. Okay, that goes around then. We do have to take care of this here. And get this little mountain here out of the way. To make that. So we can kinda finish off the detail.
include some cobble stairs in the walls? How do you mean, like sticking out of the walls? Or some outer details, how we did it at some of the other walls as well? I think I, I, think I get. And uh, we're on the on a medieval texture pack. So, and welcome, Mr. Chill, to the stream. Welcome to our neat little developer stream here. Uh, so. Chuk, 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 chuk. Probably want to continue this here. But I did get what you guys meant. And welcome Wraith Shane as well. Hi there. So. Then we want this, like that. And finish the guard tower. Neatly enough. Chuk, chuk, chuk. Yes, we are on the Forgecraft mod pack, so there are a lot of mods. We used, um, as you can see, we used immersive engineering for the windmill over there, although we probably want to build a better looking windmill in the future. And we do have um, refined storage set up over there as well. So we got a bunch of mods in here, and it's time to sleep already again. Chuk chuk chuk. It's still not night, okay. So, I think I know what you meant with the detail. Let's maybe go for something like that, okay. Let's go like this. We want the over... yes, someone slept, nice. So we go over here. Probably not all the way, but this. <coughs> yes. Wait, I think... no, it is not a public server. It is a... this one here is a restrict uh, server with re limited access. Although we do have a Patreon server we play on um, usually in the evenings always that all Mind Colony's Patreons have access to. Um, do I have some stairs with me? I don't. But I have a crafting table with me. That's even easier. Okay. Cobblestone stairs. Hmm. And you want like one, two, three, four, and then already go down. I think that's better. You might add a little bit too much of this. Uh, then we have to, of course, finish off so that you can actually see this arc to close here. So, and then we have to mine out the interior here as well. But it's, I think, a nice little detail here. So, gonna finish off mining. And for, I think I need this mining gadget stuff that could probably speed up the stuff for me a lot.
There we go. And we have now electricity. What do you mean lower the arc by half a block? By half a block? How would I lower it by half a block? Ah, at the top center use some slabs. Let's try that out. Yes, I like that. Definitely. <clears throat> Using some details around always makes the things look even another hunch more personalized. And that gate here definitely needs a bunch of these things as well. Let's dump some more of our stuff. We still don't have any visitors around there. But here we got one exploring. Let's see what Marjorie wants. Absolutely. It'll be That's the same one for 34 hay bales. No way. <clears throat> so we dump a few of our things here again. That hammer especially. I don't want to right click anything by accident again. We do hope that our citizens grow up soon. So that one here is idle. Yes, the colony is coming along quite nicely. That part here already looks pretty awesome. This part here is a little bit less refined yet. Wait, let me run up here. What is it? You need a sword? Let's upgrade that here. And then we get him a sword quickly. And a shield as well. Oops, that's the wrong one. This is the right one. So. An iron sword. And then a shield. There we go. Do, do, do. If you say so. Shield and sword. There you are. As you can see, we have all this around here and some nice places to get more detail in as well. Yeah, I'm planning on a bunch of um, decorations later on in this in the middle here then definitely um, what's your question about time mr. chill so do, do, do. and we want this wall there to continue around here and probably wall the citizen area against this area here too. So that even if the raiders enter in this area here, they don't get to our citizen huts. That is really the, the important thing we want to prevent. So let's go back to where we started with our wall here. So we were still working on getting this wall here. Wall set up improved. And we got some torches. And then kinda we got just sidetracked as always. <coughs> Do -do -do -do. I can see dirt down there. <laughs> Hi, Erevan. So, yeah. Choo -choo -choo. 
So we do want... Do we want the staircase up there? Or do we want... I think we want some letters going up there probably. So we'll do something like this here. And then have some letters going up. We can like push in this for one more. And put one of this here. Put a torch on the side. And then we find a crafting table really quick. I did place one somewhere around here. I think I forgot mine down there. Let's get some torches going in this upper area here. Quickly as well. <laughs> Without Sam letters going up walls. That seems like a very difficult task indeed. Okay. Ah, we wanted to get the crafting table down here. Choo -choo -choo. And finish off this here. Because that here has to be grass, obviously. Yes, better. Choo -choo -choo. Yes, oh. <laughs> Eventually we're going to get back, I swear. <laughs> when I don't get sidetracked better by things a city in the netherlands i, I really feel like not saying amsterdam <laughs> but i'm sorry that's the only city in the netherlands i know and i know that this is a classic everyone I'm going to say amsterdam always So, okay, let's go back to the wall. Let's not get too sidetracked. We wanted a crafting table actually only. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Um, trying to find a healthy balance between mine colonies, building pretty stuff, and trying out here and there a different mod as well. <laughs> and welcome Dark here to the stream as well. Um, letters, 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 letters. Ch -ch -ch. Sticks. And a set of spruce letters. So now we do also need a way to enter our walls actually. Great. The only thing with, that we need still is now here actually a staircase up there. Four stairs, perfect. In Den Belgium, Belgium, I think the only city in Belgium I know is Brussels. Two? No. That is, I think, one too high actually, even. Better. Um, I'm out of a shovel again, but I need another one. That's why I like to always carry iron with me. It allows me to craft all those things quickly while we're on it. So, then we get up here. The place a bit too high. So, here, another set, and then spruce planks. Ooh. 
Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Oops. The dirt looks so similar to the spruce planks on my main screen. Because my main screen is a little bit dark. It confuses me regularly. Okay, great. Then... We can do these. Great. And the same thing, oops, on the other side. Um, de -dum. Yeah. And then we do want to set up torches alongside this piece of wall. And we set up that wall as well, mostly. Getting some torches here. Do not have mobs spawn immediately too close to the border let's make this here also not a easy walk in park more torches okay and on the other side here and there we also need one i'm 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 am on i am on bright just this particular screen here is very moody. My laptop screen is perfectly fine, but this one here, for some reason, is super moody. Let me do a quick switch. Um, yes, that's much better. And now on the laptop as the main screen and have twitch on the other one <laughs> no that is the maximum brightness of that screen it's the absolute maximum it goes <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Viking, Jojo, have good luck with your husky. So Let's get some more torches up here. Okay. That's where our wall is going to have a drop off. Let's get only this. We are getting almost out of cobblestone again. Um, usually I play via the Technic launcher, uh, via the GD launcher. That is, in my opinion, the the best launcher there is um, but this particular mod pack is on no launcher at all it's a very particular mod pack <laughs> that that sounds definitely like fun <laughs> So, we're just here. Wait, here. Hmm. This seems to be a little bit in disarray now. Not a big fan of it. We might have to do something like this. And then do it, yeah. That works better. Let's 
so getting some food in the system again and then we finish this wall section here soon and then we can check up if we have a new visitors and b how our builders are doing which is much more important even to get some progress going in this colony okay so this wall section is done just gotta make sure that those, all the holes are filled in like here they weren't okay only those two yes visitors are still dying in walls and Sam letters still didn't find out what is causing it actually um, the game is sometimes a little bit laggy yes but it might be a little bit of both I'm not using shaders at the moment so FP wow FPS is bad apparently the rats mod has a bunch of FPS problems so I guess we have a bunch of rats that are around our colony because this build should have the FPS problems already fixed with my colonies yes I don't have shaders on at the moment but there are some um, there are some like I said this is a very experimental server so there are some mods that are causing issues at the moment and the mod developers are working on getting those things sorted out like the rats mod has a bunch of FP and TPS problems for example yes it's for it's the newest forgecraft so what do you what? tell me? You think I'm spruce not strong enough? Splasher plates Watch and spruce me. doors. And two pressure plates. What's it today then? I take the all of that flint here. Uh, monster turkey I also take. What can I do for you? That's all she needs. And I can get you the cobblestone slabs as well. Okay, let's get started. No problem. Um, one more spruce pleasure, pre pleasure plate. Yeah, a pressure plate. Um, a bunch of spruce stairs. And some of these, and some more stairs. So. Getting those and now twelve of this. Only eight. Twelve. Okay, Mr. Chill. Hit me. Um up gated, down gated, left, right, right, left. And something just finished, and I guess it is the guard tower. Yes. But oh, that one is missing two spaces, actually. I'm seeing right now. Whoops. Cave update. Very easy, straightforward answer, if you ask me. We have enough mods adding vertical slabs. I don't think we do need that badly at all but the cave update would be definitely something that would get a significant amount of people to update yeah Borg already has vertical slabs so I don't, I don't see this as anything game changing we have walls as well already not like there are other things cave update is definitely the one thing I want the most do we have finally a researcher here? Or is there a guard hanging around? It is a guard. 
Yeah, builder trying to get out of the door noises identified. <laughs> yeah, there's also always that. I think Mochen could deliver a pretty nice cave update. It seems that one of the things they're pretty decent at are, are those kinds of things like the nether bastions, the end cities. There's a con that is content that is relatively unique. But the things they take from modded and then just like redo are usually worse than the or originals. Can I just die, eat something of this and dump them off again? Let me just see what the next level of this here would need. Um, iron bars, spruce planks, granite, black clay, black carpet, chisel stone blocks, or oh, concrete. I think th that is not so bad. Uh, glazed terracotta. Maybe we're going to keep that for some more time. See if we have any visitor anywhere. Ah, you? <laughs> yeah, the, the one thing, you know, Mojang updated caves when they first introduced it. <laughs> when they first introduced strongholds and these kinds of things. I would say that counts and mine shafts, etc. Yes, my lord. Okay, you need the spruce wood again. I get it. How's the work going? Uh, what level is your mine? Level 3, that's fine. We also have this outside area here. Though we apparently don't seem to have a farmer taking care of this. Is our farmer dead? That is just so disappointing. This farmer is our... dies more often than the miner. And we got a lot of light around here. Yeah, caves and mine shafts are pretty boring. I definitely believe they should upload those urgently. So good. Okay, let's get some more spruce. And then we give this this farmer an outside fence. Such that the mobs don't enter as easily anymore. I want to actually get here. Some spruce logs. Let's take some birch logs. Make a bunch of sticks out of it. So, make some fences. Great. And then let's let's go back there and then finish that. And hopefully, our kids are going to grow up eventually. Such that we can assign it to the university again. No, I've never seen that. To be fair, Forgecraft is probably the first mod pack outside of mine colonies I'm playing. Like, like this. Cutie Foxy. Oops. Fail. Here's the middle. Oops. Didn't want to pick that up at all. Out of fence, but there should be some crafting table somewhere around here. Oh, there are some dark spots up here as well that could explain the worker from dying as well. Hmm. 
Maybe I have seen that. I've seen a video of a guy playing with a ton of mods, getting random mods and not reading any description. That I've seen. Might it be that one you're talking about? Let's eat this jerky here. So... Let's finish off this fencing section here. Yeah, I did tell Carl, Carl already. So, so that's better, but not perfect. Let's are not remotely protective enough. Let's go like this. Oops, one too much. And then we can go like around here. Like this. Place another torches. Uh, it's also because I have the... The torch... The overlay on. That was causing a bunch of issues. I played a little bit of uh, RL Craft. Even tried it with the Mine Colonies mix. But I didn't enjoy it really. It was a little bit too over the top, if you ask me. <laughs> like I did die just way too often. And mine colonies would take away a lot of that difficulty because it adds a colony at a static position. While RL craft is more about this if you die you have to start over thing. And if you have mine colonies, it takes away. There is also, there are also Creeksel's um, World of Dragons pa packs that also have that without dying so often. You should try Creeksel's packs, definitely. You could, you would probably enjoy it. Okay, we got everything for the cook. It's called World of Dragons, as far as I remember. So, that... Ah, that one is idle again. So, let's get another... Should we get another guard tower down? Probably yes. The question is where? We got the guard tower here. Might the guard tower fit into this area here. Might we fix actually a guard tower here? That would be pretty epic. If we could fit one. So the building outlines. That is now... It could work potentially like this. Putting it one more back. How does it look like? This one here seems to be aligned here. And this here seems to work as well. Although we could potentially also put it at this corner. Which would make potentially more sense maybe even in this corner here though here it at least aligns with that guard tower over there okay mr. chill don't worry um, now do we want it here so that it kinda we kinda got those aligned nicely or do we want it to be here to kind of get it aligned I think it doesn't... Oops. We just got a crash. Uh, let me restart quickly and then check out the crash log. Downloads. Uh, here. Forgecraft. I'm going to switch quickly to chat. 
Um, and then we check. I check out the crash report. No, that's not the right one. Forgecraft logs. I have to check the latest log then. It doesn't tell me anything. And it didn't generate a crash log either. No, this time uh, we crashed actually. Maybe I'm getting... Uh, I'm going to close a few of my tabs. I might have a few too many open. I probably even close Discord. Du -du -du. And Skype. Closing off some of my things. Yeah, that was kind of very unfortunate. Now to getting our pack, pack started up. And I think I didn't like it at that particular position because it was a little bit too much inside a town without having a real usage. I think it's better to have it on the other side. Oh, you've been playing RL Craft actually? No, it's not on Bedrock World of Dragons, Mr. Chill. I didn't. Ha I hadn't seen that a question. Oh. So to load this back up, we're getting close now. Maybe the. I think the memory probably might have run full. We giving I'm giving the pack five gigs. Might have to try it at six if it starts happening more regularly. At five should be usually fine. But I'm going to get my my additional RAM I ordered. Maybe this week. I hope this week. I can add it to my computer and double my memory, my laptop. That would be a huge help. I don't have to worry at all about memory anymore with 32 gigs. <laughs> Loading up the pack. Uh, almost have to switch to just chatting at the moment, <laughs> uh, but we, the pack is loading up and should be ready any moment now. Yeah, definitely. I do regularly get issues because apparently Gradle loves to fill up stuff in the mem in the me in memory and forget to close it. Oh wow, that's decent quantity, definitely. <laughs> I used to have for many years only 8, then around 2 years ago I got a new laptop with 16 and now I'm finally upgrading to 32. Every time I noticed a relatively huge difference. And sorry, the main advantage I'm going to have is that I'm going to run the 32 now in dual channel. I have 16 at only one channel. So 32 at dual channel is probably going to give me much more speed up even than if I had upgraded from 2 times 8 to 2 times 16. Oh wow. So you got a decent excuse at work to go get a coffee <laughs> for 8 hours compiling. I think I never had a compile shop that took longer than an hour or so. Ooh. 
In the past I had some things that really took like half an hour, an hour, because my computer was bad and didn't have a lot of memory. But that's nowadays not a problem at all anymore. And we're loading up. I'm going to switch to Minecraft already. Ah. Uh, And we're back up. I think I'm not loading this here. So let's get the guard tower. Maybe if this corner might fit it as well. Because I think, no, it creates one overlap. But we can, we can increase our border here. That's not a problem at all. We could potentially even go straight out here. Maybe that is the best way. Yeah, could create an outcrop as well, yes. That would work. Because this one here is not going to extend a lot. We just need a small extension. Um, but it's kind of weird having it right in front of the citizen hut like this. As you can see, it like doesn't allow us entering nicely. So I guess the best thing is probably having it around here. And probably even exactly like this. And then we can create an outcrop of this here. I think this would look, look pretty great. What do you think? I think this would make a great tower. Okay, there we go. Mine away here a little bit. Can send the builder on this task. We can go back to our colony. I do want to put dirt on most of these areas as well still. Let's take this short moment. Get a part of that then. Oh wow. That's a fool here. Ah yes, I heard of that already, yes, definitely. Oh no, the cook is coming to look really nicely here. So the builder started on the guard tower. Uh, and we're still waiting for a visitor or one of our kids finally growing up. Um, meanwhile... Let's eat something. See, I don't have any more cobble with me. Let's dump some of our stuff, get some more cobble, and then get more of our walls done. More of that stuff we want to set up. Here. Here. Cobblestone. We're almost out of cobble. Let's take a serious break. And then we go a little bit of mining again. To get some more cobble. But that's exactly the advantage of playing with mine colonies, Mr. Chill. We have so many schematics that allow you to do a lot of these things without being a great builder. 
Like, we have all these town hall schematics, etc. I'm not an amazing builder myself. I've built some pretty crappy things as well. But I'm good at decorating things, I feel. So, all these buildings that look pretty amazing up here at the town hall as well. They're all mine colonies buildings that the builder is building for me. And I'm just building some neat decorations around it, basically. So, let's go downstairs. Hi, aunt. <laughs> no problem. So, so we want to go down there. I'm hearing... Ah, you're on Bedrock Edition. Yes, this mod is only... Is only ch on Chava Edition. That would explain it. Yeah, the, the really good mods... Are all on Chava Edition. At least for now. Because for now, bedrock and modding is a fairly complicated topic. I think there are some big companies that have some probably relatively big contracts with Mojang. So they easily are able to to get the stuff they need but for just the modding community itself bedrock is pretty useless I would say go so far to saying that as saying that so let's pick up these here so we do want probably this is where our shaft is. Let's go a little bit back here. And then we just, just start going in this direction instead. Oh wow. We got a bunch of lava here apparently. Yes, I know Bedrock has some things Chava doesn't. But for the modding community itself, um, the bedrock is pretty useful. Yeah, there's like one of a few of these, like this new Jurassic Park th theme thing. But there's are like some big company things that not a small modder like us could easily do. Oh, nice. Got some diamonds here in the wall. Okay. Let's see if we find any more diamonds alongside this track here. So we're going to go back to start and get some more iron and uh, iron we already pick up on the way as well it was where the way we got the the diamonds I think it was somewhere around here maybe one day bad rug allows some decent form of community modding but at for now at least it is impossible to offer anything like mine colonies or any of the other big mods in this edition iron that's where we started so we do know that there's a lot of lava in each of these directions. I guess it's got some more. And we try to go in this here. 
Yeah, that's a classical one. But yes, the really good mods are really on the Java edition that you have to play on PC, unfortunately. Depending on the person, fortunately, because I only have the Java edition. So for us it's fortunately, but for everyone else it's very unfortunate that they didn't create a more common base that allows us to do things together. Do, do, do. Getting some lapis. I should actually pick up lapis with my good pickaxe, thinking about it. Because it does duplicate. The redstone I only pick up for the XP. I'm hearing a very close by thread. Oops. Here more pickaxes. So, some of that coal for me. And we are back in one of the other holes we've made already. Then a full circle now, apparently. <laughs> That's fun. But where did we come? was not from here so I'm creating my own labyrinth at the moment that's just great so um, let's dump some more of that stuff over here because we still need more cobblestone And if you're wondering, I'm doing this on this Y level because I do want to have a chance to find the diamonds while we're on it. I'm getting is here going again we're getting some decent quantities of of iron ore that's pretty awesome because we're going to need a lot of that in the future even gold ore we're going to need a bunch of didn't waste it And when we then all need tin ore and these kinds of things, and awesome ore, we just go down here. Because we got so much ore exposed down here. That's just a, a gold mine. Not a gold mine, but you know what I mean. Um, we want to get this here quickly. Maybe this one here. And then we go all the way up. Back to Sleepy Wurzburg. Wait, that's a lantern room. Where's the way out? Here. And we start the other task again. That was, I think, behind those buildings here. Great. Um, the dam. Build option. Guard table, tower. And he did build a lot of dirt down there. So that's great. We can potentially just jump here and replace most of it quickly with uh, cobblestone. So while they're still doing it, we should do this quickly before he notices what's up.
Um, we did create we in our colony our um, our guards. They get the colony symbol that you choose for them on the shields. So they all got kind of special shields. Oops, I'm seeing here a builder stuck on his task. So let's go there quickly. I think that should be fine. Wait. Like this. Let's recall the builder quickly. Yeah, that happens sometimes. That cannot always be avoided. Here, welcome back, Melanie. You can now really start. And you, tell me. Of course. Hey, Bale again. What do you Any like? Any work today, sir? <laughs> um, I like all the building styles. There's, I think, no such style as the style I like the most. There are different styles for different occasions that work best in certain occasions, then. And welcome, Choi Yaya220, to our stream as well. Choo -choo -choo. Let me get the stuff from the backpack now, then. Especially that stuff here. That I don't want to be carrying around. Here. Let me want to have Put those torches here. <laughs> um, she should be fine in terms of resources. The ladders she should be able to get from the town hall. I placed a lot of ladders there. And the other one is I think. Ah, she's finishing the cook now. Great. We got workers complaining at the restaurant. Yay! Work, work, work. Who are you? Our fisherman? What can I do for you? <laughs> um, you can. I can give you fuel at least. Since she's out again. What is it? <coughs> you know you want that little worm. And our kids are, of course, not growing up because they're just hungry again. I can help with that. All kids. <laughs> hey. Yes, sir. And I have to share my food with you guys. No, people always go there. What's it today then? For sure they go. Okay. Now... Oops. Getting some experience. Now, the next job, we need a new job for our builder now. We probably... want to start upgrading our citizen huts. Or do we have the sawmill unlocked yet? You are stuck. Let me check if we unlock the sawmill already. Potentially we could get a sawmill then. And save us a bunch of that work. That piles up. Uh, technology. Yes, we have a sawmill. And uh, we have the possibility to get a sawmill, I mean. So, be do. So, let's get one and place one down. We probably do want that behind the lumberjacks. Okay. 
There we go. So what is the sawmill recipe again? Three wooden axes. Okay, that is relatively cheap. Just any plank. Here. Now! Um, and then putting those in here. Little tool on the top. Two more. Great. Now we just need to find a place for it. We can check out how our of visit. Course. Yes, finally. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Let's see what Any she's work turning. Today, sir. Should get a job assigned relatively of soon. Of course. So, what automatic job the city is going? Go. I do not have the university on automatic assignment. I just remembered. Oh. So let's assign her there quickly, because that is just urgent that we finally got to get our composter higher. There you go. And a builder. The builder is older than either one of them. The builder, miner, and the delivery men are the oldest ones. There we got our cave. And then we can start doing that section I was talking about earlier. Because we do want this here. I think this here is on this level. So this here is going to be gun. Now, of course, the builder existed. No, that's wrong. The builder definitely existed. I do now know that as a fact for sure, absolute. Um, let's start here. Delivery man, uh, citizen had level three upgrade as well. Because then, let me jump down here. Oh, that one takes out all this space. He didn't show that maybe, but I'm here long enough to know the builder existed. Without the builder you were unable to get anything else. The builder had to build those, bu uh, those buildings, right? It's going to just click repair quickly to see where the connection is. Um, it's up there, isn't it? And it goes down there. So we have to move the wall one over there. Yes. Cancel repair. Ah, wait. I was getting sidetracked again. First and foremost, let's get a pickaxe. Um, so this here is too far oops what a pain back up again <laughs> what does the rule don't mind straight down wasn't it that what what just happened 
It took cobblestone even from here. You're kidding me, right? It doesn't even connect. How does it how did it do that? It took away so much cobblestone. But okay. Um this here we can do. But this here we can't. We have to put it alongside here. Yeah, the 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 citizen kids they have some really cute models for sure. Completely agree with that. And then we probably just want to go straight here. Let's continue on that height even. Hmm. Probably then one less. How much would that that remove? A little bit too much. But I think if we disconnect it here, that should work. Okay, great. Because then uh, we can go like this little bit over there. But first of all, we do want this to be a bit higher anyway. Now that with the stairs a little bit annoying because that would be kind of like this. I guess that's okay. I guess it's okay. Mm. So we do want something like this. Probably not on the front then at all here. I think it's okay without for now. So the dough. Then we can do it like this and then go straight. That's then no problem at all. So, there we go. Yeah, that server is, is super laggy. It's much worse than on our server. That is for sure. Modded Minecraft, um, not modded Minecraft, Minecraft lately did some really bad decisions that caused things to be really laggy. So... Let's get some of those trees down quickly. Okay. Get this here down too. Because we want to go straight over here then. Um, it's something, something medieval. Uh, resource pack. Winthor Medieval 1162 um, Let me get some an axe again. I have to repair that one. Let's let get quickly stone axe so Need to be quicker. Getting those trees cut that are standing in the way here. So, yeah, days pass super fast. In real life, they already pass way too fast, but in Minecraft, it's 
way too fast. Probably want it even like this. So, because then we can just take this here down. And it, a day is 10 minutes, the whole. So, 10 minutes night, 10 minutes day. In Minecraft, yes. It does pass really quickly so so let's get to sleep quickly for all the mobs spawn yes if you don't sleep at night only so, but everyone sleeps. Do, do, do. Okay, now we got the pass at the restaurant and hope the cook has some food for us. Baked potatoes, more baked potatoes. Getting our storage full again. Oh, great, that's better. And then we can close off this wall here. I'm going to let you walk down here. You're lucky. Could have just closed it, you know. Um. So, <laughs> so, I do want to take this little part here. For some decorative elements again. And make it... Um, let's get quickly to our chest again. Do, do, do. Oh wow, what happened up here? What a fail. Um, here, new shovel. Then fix the dirt that I apparently mined by accident with a rain miner. So, fixed. Then then we get some more cobblestone stairs 16 should be enough for what i'm wanting to do because it's it's a very unique wall that i want just scanning in the unique sections etc that i would want the builder to enable here would take me as long as doing it myself Let's finish the upper section as well quickly. Um, and then we do need some torches here. 
then the centaur just here in the outlining as well of the wall. Here to here. Um, do -dum. We want to cut this tree down as well. Okay. Place some torches up here to avoid any mob spawning potentially happening. More torches, I guess. Great. One torch here in the front. Then we can go down here to the section I was talking about. Um, and do something like this. And then already here, the next one. Alright, wait. That's wrong. Here. The next one. Like this. We could put. And should we move this? This is nice, or do we want. I think we want to move this one over, right? To then have this here going down, actually. And go one up. So, we can do this, then we want to hide, ah, etc. Yes, that means and so on. It, it's Latin. Do, do, do. Ah, fail. Okay, like this, like this, and then down here, Lord. There are so many missing lights on the restaurant. It's incredible that this does cause a lot of mob spawning. Here, definitely want it here, here and here as well. And then of course on every pillar on this side How's the too. work going? Sorry, I didn't want to click you. Um, here. Okay, and some torches as well. Putting the torches like here. I think that looks pretty, pretty nice. Some additional decoration here. So the wall doesn't look so blend. And we can remove this here again. Yes, yes, Pirate Knight. All the they will use all of the the rails, even if it's different building styles. They don't really care. Uh, I think that's fine. Um, let's get some more birch wood and transform it for the cook into fuel. There we go. So let's do the 
Let's dump some of our stuff quickly. Then we take care of the birch wood. Oops, what a rubber banding. Then we take care of the birch wood. And then we place the sawmill. What's it today, Van? Oh, nether quartz. I have that. I have that. Let's get the nether quartz quickly. I didn't even check if I can actually hire him. But just a chan chance of it. It's too good to be true. Nether quartz citizens are usually relatively skilled. What is it? I'm lacking living space now. I'll take care of it. Maybe the citizen upgrade is going to be ready. Yes, my lord. Oh, we don't. We're not getting oak ladders. So I'm going to give you enough. Hey, let's get started. For sure. <laughs> um, cobblestone, logs. Yes, my lord. Oh, you need a bunch of things, don't you? Okay, let's. I said I'm going to bring that wood to the cook. And the jam. Absolutely. It'll be done in a jiffy. <laughs> <laughs> I know it doesn't find your plan. Okay. Um very good question. I don't know. It depends on how the mods do the things, etc. That is a difficult question to answer. Um, build tool. Let's see how big that sawmill gets. I think that is the enormous one, isn't it? No, it's not so enormous, okay. We do want it on the same Y size. I think that seems fine. We have plenty of space to move it closer. That seems to be the ni a nice, probably a pretty perfect position. Let's just double check on all sides. Maybe we want this to move more over in this direction a little bit. Not too close to the wall. Or maybe, wait, let's see if we can fit it here. So, and welcome Mad Paradigm, wait, okay, that is the maximum, and here we overlap, right, yes, unfortunately, let's see if we still overlap sideways as well, one, two, one more, do we overlap? Yes, unfortunately. Okay. So it has to be behind here. One higher. Another higher. Another higher. One higher. Probably like this. Maybe like one, two, three space between them. And we see 
Where does this end here? Um, I think that is probably a good place to go. Maybe we go a little bit over here. Like this. Like just before we hit the guard tower. We could go one more over here. Just before we hit the guard tower. And this way we stay farther away from the mountain here. And not so much of the mountain is carved out. And we have a bunch of more space of our things to go. Yes, I think that is a pretty good place to place that at. Do, do, do. And we want this here to get built. So we still have places here on the left <laughs> and on the right for more of the lumber for more of the trees for the lumberjacks to cut but it's still pretty close to lumberjacks okay so what a second empty dumb let's go up the stairs here and check out our colony so I think that is really going really well um, our colony is looking very nicely it's really coming along um, I'm going to be I'm going to finish for now um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'm going to see you guys later tonight on our official Patreon server. So don't forget tuning in in around four hours from now. Um, I hope you guys are going to have a good afternoon, evening or morning. I'm going to see you guys later. Thanks for tuning in and engaging in the chat with me. See you in a little bit. Ciao.